What's up fam, happy Saturday. I'm on my way to Lowe's real quick to try to see if I can find myself an outdoor chair because I've gotten rid of like all of my outdoor chairs and my lawn chairs just because I don't normally have company anymore so I didn't really feel like I needed them. But now I need one because I'm going to a concert tonight and you have to bring your own chair or you're gonna be sitting your butt on the ground and I really honestly don't wanna sit on the ground. And I also need to find like one of these like little rings for my toilet because my toilet kept running and I know whenever it starts running like that and it doesn't stop that the ring is worn and I need to replace it. So I had one, but it's for the standard size toilet that I have in the guest ba guest bathroom. The toilet that I have in my, my bathroom is a lot bigger and so that ring won't work. So I gotta see if I can find one that will and I didn't get the name of my toilet although I might be able to find it in Lowe's the brand name because that's where I had purchased it from and then from there my aunt has like some little cookout type Christian singing play type thing going on where she lives and she wanted the family to come every time she has something she invites us and so my aunt sent us a text message letting us know to go support in which I got off work an extra hour early just so I could go support my aunt Gail but I still didn't get out the house in enough time but I did let them know that I had to work but had I gotten off at 11 o'clock like I normally do I probably wouldn't have gotten there till about 1 o'clock so it's 11.30 now I'm just going to run in and out of Kohl's and then hopefully get to my aunt's by 12 30 because it's not over until two but it's fellowship i know how that is when church people gather and then friends gather they can tend to linger after the fact so i know i'm not really missing anything but yeah you guys my mom's birthday party is being canceled i was a little bummed out but not because the birthday party is canceled. I'm just bummed out because my mom is just, she's just not doing good. And that's just the reality of it right now. She's not doing good. I've already had to take her to the hospital because her drainage bag was leaking and they fixed it. So I thought, and now the tube is leaking and she says that she smells like this odor coming out of her and my mom she got a nose like a dog y'all she been like this all my life she could smell stuff that can't nobody else smell but she's not comfortable she says she's not in any pain but it's the fact that she can smell something coming out of her and she's talked to two doctors there was an on-call doctor for her doctor because her doctor is on vacation right now and he doesn't come back until monday and then she spoke to someone else and he told her the smell that she smells is probably um i forget what he said i can't even remember you guys what he said because it's just been this has been two days for me just back and forth with this and my mom's like, well, he told me to go to emergency and I don't want to go to emergency because I just feel like they're going to admit me and I don't want to be in the hospital over the weekend and all this and that. And she was like, what do you think I should do? And I'm like, I really at this point, I can't advocate for you because you've already pretty much said that you don't want to go. So I, I, I don't have anything to say. I have to respect your wishes, but 
you know, I just let her know if you're in any pain or anything like that, let me know. We'll go right back to the hospital. It's just situations like this. I just, I don't care for situations like this because I know that even if you don't feel pain, there could still be something going on. And I don't want it to be to the point where you do have to get admitted into the hospital. It's like this surgery that you're having next week, it's supposed to be same day surgery and you can go home right after the surgery. But if there's something else infected, then they may have to keep you in there and give you antibiotics. And I know she's not gonna be happy. And then she's more scared because they've been having a hard time finding her veins and they've had to stick her more than one time for her IV and IVs can't hurt depending on where you stick them. So I get the fact that she's, start, she's tired of being stuck, but at the same time, I'm just like, mother, it's a part of the process and I know, I know. That's all I can say is I know, I understand. And I'm not going through it and it's not me and I understand, but I have to watch her go through this. I have to watch them stick her more than one time and, it, and it's just as painful for me looking at it as it is for her to receive it. And it's just, I've been an emotional wreck, you guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie, no cap here. I just, I feel like I need to just fall in somebody's arms and just cry just for two minutes. Just somebody, just let me hug you and cry for two minutes and I think I'll be good after that. I honestly feel like I would be good. But it's just, I know that God said that he will never put more on us than we can bear. And every time I think about that sacrifice that God made for me on that cross and that behind whooping that he took to get there and to, to make this happen for us, I feel like I can go some more. But there's a weakness inside of me that says, I want to give up myself and crawl under a rock. But I know that I have to keep it, I have to keep it moving, but I'm just... I feel like I cannot find my break and I need one and I can't just up and just get in my car and and go somewhere and leave because my mother needs me right now so I can't just abandon her and every time she calls me I feel like she thinks she's being a burden on me and I'm like what are you talking about it's like she's apologizing every time she calls me and I'm like I'm sorry to keep calling you I'm like don't keep apologizing to me because I'm gonna be here regardless whether you want me to be or not I'm here so stop apologizing to me for calling me because if you need me I'm gonna drop what I'm doing and come no matter where I'm at I'm gonna do that because that's my mother and I care for her and, and I need her to understand that and accept that, that this is my child. I'm not a burden. I can call her whenever I need her. But I just, oh Jesus, oh Lord help me. Oh, let me get off, I'm about to cry. We all need to help each other no matter what, like somebody is we gotta reach out. We can't wait for nobody else. You gotta be the first person to do that thing. Get that! Alright. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Go get James. Alright. Go get James. Uh, Let's go get James. Who? Oh, okay. Who lives at the building 620? I'm Gil. Okay. Okay. Well, you said it. You go pick out a gift. Oh! <laughs> Somebody got the TikTok thing, Tony? No. You, you want me to get it? Yeah, you want me to okay. I'm going to show you going to the table. If it, no, but cousin, if it, you get it. Is it on? No. You hold it. Oh, look, okay. Yeah, get it. It's already on? They got the food off. Taking the covers off. And so what we're going to do is have... Uh, how do you want it? How do you want it? Oh, no, they can just, they can just come and, you know, we have the plate already set. So if you all want to start to come and uh, make your plate. Camille. You're welcome. What is she talking about? She said she wanted something in this TikTok thing. TikTok? Oh. 
That's an outfit. What's that? Wait, I think. Okay. I think you get the shirt in. Yes, yeah, it's, a, it's a, Okay. I think this is what she was talking about. <laughs> Free gifts for everybody. They got free gifts for everybody. All right. Hey. Let the kids go get something off the table. Go get something off the table. Well, what was she what's she doing? Something wrong with her? Her um, do we want to keep that on? Hey, you I missed the whole thing. I guess the theme was Love Thy Neighbor, yeah. and I missed it, but it looked like it was a nice turnout. Now they're getting ready to eat. So I was just checking in with you guys to let y'all know it's over. But it looked like some good fellowship going on the 23rd. Or Come on, sit your stuff in your chair. Other than that, I'm a hog tire and, and drag it to the Well, hospital. I was thinking maybe um, since she don't want no party. Say hi, on Gil. Hey. Hey, 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 Brenda, how you doing? What she said? Where the man at? Where the man? She at home. Oh, okay. All right. Ryan getting big over there. Football player. No. No? You don't want to be the football player, Brian? That boy, his mama got scared of football. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Well, CG. Somebody better not hurt my baby. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got me scared of football. Oh, see, but I'm like her, my baby. Bo, her and Bo was on the phone talking. You no, know, him and Bo, and he was telling about him playing football and stuff. Uh, CG stopped talking. Uh, Bo said, CG, be quiet. Don't say nothing. I'm talking to him. Just me and him. <laughs> Somebody help my baby. Purpose. Purpose. He wanted to play in junior high school. He was a baby. I did not let him play. Moo, moo, moo. You ignoring me? You ignoring cousin? Moo. Huh? Well, you got a nap, you got to get out of your trash. You're busy trying to get, get this dang on balloon. Huh? Well, I ain't had a yeah, clean ass for some of Man, I ain't had a piece of soda. You said what? Clean ass for some of you. Show me you got clean ass in your purse. No, I don't have no clean ass. You want your clean? Yeah, yeah. Keep that bitch off my lap. Damn, I'm uh. This one's good. Can I see you? Mm. Grab a chair. Mm. Thank you. Huh? Oh. So whose idea was it to have to have this? Was it on Gills? It was on Gills. Oh, that was nice. That was so nice. Something to do. Get us outside. That was nice. That was nice. She had, she had a good turnout too. This is a good turnout. And the food is good. Yes. Here, you going to put that? What's up you guys? I'm getting ready to go pick up my friend Tammy so we can go to the concert. I did have to change my clothes, although I was gonna change my clothes anyways, but I did spill something on my dress that I had on earlier. So I just put on like this little sport romper. Uh, it feels a little lightweight, although where we're going, there's no shade. So I'm just gonna be hot regardless of what I have on. But such is life, it is what it is. But you guys, I did try my Instabake makeup today. 
and I must say that I do like it. The color is perfect. I don't think there's another shade that I need to try. So the 315 warm for me, it, it did work. I thought for a minute it wasn't gonna work because the bottle actually looks a lot darker and which threw me off. But once I pumped and started applying it to my face, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. And it just, it looks flawless to me. I think MAC just got booted out. Although I do say that about every foundation that I try, that MAC got booted out and did after a couple of months. I'm like, eh, I'm going back to MAC, but we'll see. But yeah, you guys, I will catch up with you guys in a minute once we get to the concert. <laughs> Yeah, she she was all the way in the back in the corner. Yeah, Alrighty, you guys, they warming up, getting ready to start. I'm out here baking, but I'm eating some fries, some steak and sour cream and nacho cheese fries. I never had anything like this before in my life, but. It looked good. Everybody was walking around getting it, so I thought I would try it too. Hey, Marvin. It's all right. You don't recognize me. Tammy. How are you? Good. Good.
I finally made it back home. I had an awesome day today with my family and with friends. And now I'm getting ready to go take Miss Bella out and then we're going to bed. So I will see you guys on another boring quarantine video real soon. Love you fam.